Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Amen. It says, after this, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly, for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him permission, so he came and took the body of Jesus. And Nicodemus, who at first came to Jesus by night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 100 pounds. You see, you see Joseph of Arimathea and you see Nicodemus. The key word is secret disciples. Secret disciples. If you're going to live, you might as well live all the way. You might as well go all the way in life. So these two men, they were in the closet. They believed in Jesus, but they was afraid to come out. One thing that, that happens in life is that there's different things that push us back into the closet. And the real person, the real person who you are, we never get a chance to see. The world never get a chance to feel the impact that you can make on the world. In, in Luke chapter 16, verse 8, I want to read this. Then we go into, we go into Luke chapter 15. But Luke chapter 16, verse number 8. Look at this because we're going to get ready to make a confession here. We're getting ready to make a verbal loud confession about what we're getting ready to read. The Bible says, and this is a New King James Version, uh, for the master commended the unjust steward, that is a worker, because he had dealt shrewdly, for the sons of this world are more shrewd in their generation than the sons of light. Now, let me see that in the King James Version. Sixteen and eight in the King James Version. All right. Now look at this. And the Lord commended the unjust steward. That's an employee. That's a person that is being employed. Steward. Because he had done wisely. You have to read the whole parable, what he did. Now, this is what I want to focus on. And this is where our confession comes in. As we begin to release some things, and begin to come out of the closet. He says here, for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Read that again. The children of this world, and what he's talking about, children of this world, he's talking about people that are not saved, are wiser than the children of light. Who's a child of light? Let me see your hand. Are you a child of light? That's all of us. He says to folks that, that do not know God, the people that are not into God, are wiser than the children of light. Some of y'all are looking like y'all didn't know that was in the Bible. But after the parable, he shows why. This is Jesus speaking. Now, your confession is, your confession is, that's not talking about me. Oh, see, y'all, somebody said it up here. You got to open your mouth and say, that is not talking about me. See, so it doesn't mean he, you got to be included in that. He's talking as a whole. All right. So when you see that, you got to you got to make up your mind. I'm in the house and I'm wiser than anybody outside of the house. Now open your mouth and say that. Open your mouth and confess that. The Bible says that your whole life go in a direction of what you speak. We can have what we say. 
So if you make that confession, you say, well, it ain't, yeah, yeah, it's changing everything, honey. Just by you saying that, it's changing everything. I refuse for those outside of the house to be wiser, to be smarter than I am when I'm in the house. The mere fact in the, that I'm in the house means I'm supposed to be wiser. You know what he's saying? He's saying, he's saying that folks don't even know when to come in from the rain. Are going to be wiser than the people that's already on the inside. You have to reject that. Not the word, but reject that for your life. The Bible says, Jesus says, when they was getting ready, uh, as, as they were putting this very expensive oil on him. And, and, and Judas got a problem with it. And Judas said, we using all that. We should have sold it and gave it to the poor. And Jesus said, the poor you have with you what? Come on, say it. The poor you have with you what? Look at somebody and say, that one time about me, honey. <laughs> Woo, you got to say that. You got to say that. If I don't get anything else, just get you to say that today. You got to say that. Look at somebody and tell them, that's not talking about me. I might be there right now, but I ain't going to stay here. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. Why? Because I'm wiser. What an indictment that the Father of glory what was he feeling when he says my kids got everything to be on top. I created them to be the head and not the bottom. I've given them everything to be successful. I even told them how to have good success and how to prosper. But he says these, these that don't even know me are doing better he said, well, I got them beat. I'm going to heaven. <laughs> Look at somebody. I said, what you going to do until we get to heaven? What you going to do until we get to heaven? I, you know, we, we got to live until we get to heaven. And that's why we're losing a generation. And that's why our witness is not where it should be. Because we have made people believe until you get ready to die. It's not much use for Jesus. But if there was no heaven, if there was no hell, Jesus is still the best choice. That you could make on the planet. My choice for Jesus is not based on heaven. It's not based on missing hell. You might have came in like that. But he's the best financial decision you could make on the planet. He's the best emotional decision you can make on the planet. So he's challenging us. I feel it. Did he challenge us today in foundational class? They had a whole nother pastor now today. That was a whole nother, that was a whole nother fella. I told him he ain't showing up next week. We ain't gonna let him come back next week, but he was on a whole, he was a whole nother place. Cause that's where he lives. In St. Luke chapter 15, I'm excited. Something's getting ready to happen. So when you start doing God's work, when you start doing God's work, he has fixed it that, that, your abilities and your talents and your destiny is locked in to you doing the spiritual things that you're supposed to do. And when we're doing things that are not working, you ought to go back home and look at some stuff that ain't working and say, this ain't working. No, no, I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about married folks, okay. <laughs> I got to get that out quick because I... You ain't working, Pastor Tommy. You ain't working. You out of here. No, I ain't talking about married folks. I might need another battery in this because it seems like it's, 
it might be going out this battery. So let's, but I'm excited because what is getting ready to happen. Let me tell y'all something. It is people that don't even come to this ministry have sometimes more excitement than we that are here. Let me tell you, there are some things that are, there are some things on the table right now for this ministry could change this ministry so drastic. Take us to a whole nother place. Amen. Look at somebody. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Now, the one thing that one thing you need to declare. Well, we're going to do some confessing today. But team, we're doing some confessing today. Look at somebody. Say, I'm not a victim. Well, look, look, say now, if you're looking for a victim, don't look at me. I might grow up never seeing my father, but I'm not a victim. I might grow up on welfare, but I'm not a victim. I might come from a divorced household, but I'm not a victim. I might been through a divorce, but I'm not a victim. I am a victor. Because I read the end of the book. Look at somebody say, I cheated. I read the end of the book. Before I got in the ring to fight. And that'd be like Mayweather. Before I got in the ring to fight, I walked in knowing I'm going to win. I don't care what the judges say. I'm going to win. How you know? I read the end of the book. I read what the supreme judge of all the earth says. I win. Man, that's, ooh, that's good. That's good. Don't you know when you come, don't you know when you face life and you know you know always, you've already won? It put pep in your step. You know, you just, you just, you just, yeah. Take your best shot. I've already won. They just going to knock me out. I'm just going to get back up. Because in the end, the referee going to be raising my hand. Because I... <laughs> and see, that's what has happened. The devil has attacked your confidence. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. Sunday school begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word... Join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Acts Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you.